Hey guys, welcome back. We're Philly and Keely, and after living in our van full time for two and a half years, she's taken us all the way from London through Europe into Turkey and back again. And now we're back on the road on a new adventure in France. In today's video, you're going to see us check out a beautiful little spot called Giverny and then make our way to Paris where we abandon our van to explore the city. Let's go. <laughs> Get out of the bus stop. <laughs> tiny home? Is that? This is all this we is made. This is tiny home. It's got a seat yeah. that also works with a bed. There you go, min max, dual purpose. Can you not ruin my shot? You're so annoying. So it's a weekend here in France, which means it's very, very busy. There's camper vans and motorhomes everywhere. Every park up we try to go to is jam packed. So we found a random lane and we decided to drive down and it was getting tighter and tighter, but we were like, it doesn't really matter because our vans are already scratched because of the tight roads in Devon and Cornwall. Yeah. But once we got down here, there's an old train line with a old abandoned track. So right now we have parked pretty much bang on the train line and mm -hmm. um, hoping no trains will come. I'm pretty sure I'm it's- I'm pretty sure it's yeah. abandoned, yeah. <laughs> But let's go check it out. Yay. It looks really interesting. You look interesting. Check this out. This is so cool. Yeah, it's just a cool Gun! I feel like we, we could like... Just don't fall through the floor. We could like shoot a, a music video in here. This is our new tiny home, Keely. Surprise! I actually bought this. No, Time to get converting, rip those, Look get those chairs view. out. Look at this view. It's so wild. I love thorns. So yeah, welcome to your new home. Oh my word, I would see if I found out you bought this, I'd actually be down for that. This would be sick, tiny home. This would be so sick. Oh, now I want it. <laughs> you can tell, obviously we love traveling, but we do really want land. Like it is something we talk about pretty much every day. This would be the bedroom, obviously, in the back. There's the, the captain's lounge as well. There she is. I li literally, my, my legs will straddle up far. Okay. Uh, can I be the captain? You look behind you. Oh, I want it so much. It's so cool. It's like a barge, but on land. What would you? What would this up here be? Um, like. If you were in the babies, this could be a cool baby room. It could be a cool wee stand-up study as well. People are into that stuff. I'm or it could be the sitter. entrance to your deck. Okay, yeah, that's a better idea. This is so... Unexpected? Really, really, really unexpected and really awesome. Thanks to Fido for sponsoring this video. I'm very excited. I just want to say, these have been in the back of the van for weeks. Yeah, like nearly a month. Waiting. So Waiting for this moment. It feels like, it feels like forever. Oh wow. I love packaging. This packaging looks good, man. Nice packaging, man. Pedals. Pedals, okay. Oh, we're going to have to construct it. Yeah. Oh me, oh my. Oh me, oh Look at that, give me tail light. This is like Christmas. And this is the seat. Oh, hello. Bonk. Oh, twos. For some reason that felt like a Christmas cracker. Oh. <laughs> okay. Big. Just she said. Billy. Come look at it from over here. It looks even better from far away. 
go look at it over there. I'm not joking. It looks like a, a mini motorbike. <laughs> it's kind of what it is. Billy, it's friggin' sick. <laughs> Doesn't it look sick? It does look sick. It actually looks so good. Right, we need our wee knife to cut. You know the funny off. thing is, it's gonna look like a, like an adult-sized bicycle when you're cycling it. I know. Clamp spring. If you push that, does it feel like it's going? Like maybe you're meant to. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. Billy, it looks sick. Where did those feet go? So I'll make this nice and tall for me. I'm gonna be honest. This is way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. And I thought it was gonna be cool. This is actually like, I feel like, uh, it feels like a motorbike. Hmm. Wow! Right, put her in, put her in. Oh, there's a cute little stand. Billy, it is so cute. It looks like a little motorbike. <laughs> Billy, I'm actually so in love. <laughs> I'm actually so in love, it's ridiculous. <laughs> How do I turn it on? Oh my goodness, it's on. <laughs> oh, there's a light. Billy! <laughs> These are so cool. Guys, this is cool. Okay, here we are for the first the first ride. So you press the M, this is a little M button, I think. Right. And it, it should Turns be... Turns it on. Yeah. Well, Try your horn. Means. Oh, jeepers. That's too loud. That gets me every time. That's okay. too loud. Okay, so now you've got a throttle. You know where your brakes are. Got brake. Front and your back brakes. What brake. do you mean a throttle? You, this is your throttle. Don't touch it just yet. Are you so, telling me that... That it's not just that, like... Okay, so just to be clear, my understanding of an e-bike was I cycled and as I cycled like on a normal bike, it just kind of gave me a little oomph. Are you telling me that this thing has a throttle like an actual motorbike? No, it doesn't. Does it actually? Yes. Actually? Actually. I thought it just like helped you because you're a bit lazy. No. no. Am I allowed to try? Of course, it's your bike. Oh no, I'm really scared. This is going to be so embarrassing. I'm not going to be cool anymore. Am I trying it? Okay, so let let yourself freewheel a bit first before you put the throttle on. Okay. And you cycle as well. So okay. go. Am I doing it? If you want. I'm afraid. Ah! Billy! Billy! <laughs> You've got brakes, you idiot. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot and I tried to just like because you do the throttle and you do this. And then I tried to just undo the throttle and I was like, it's not slowing down. And then I remembered I had bricks. You that was nature. weird. I wasn't expecting that. How do you feel? Uh, let's go again. I'm coming. And I'm, I'm, I'm turning it again. Go for it. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I only have the balls to do it for a wee second. I'm a bit afraid. Like, what happens if you hold it in for a long time? Does you it go, go really fast? You go fast. Will I go on that straight? I'm scared. No, this isn't the proper terrain. We really need to go somewhere else. What are you talking about? Look how sexy these tires are. These bad boys can do anything. Off we go! And that was the last time we seen Keely. <laughs> so, first impressions? It's actually quite fast. Yeah. And I know that it could go faster if I kept holding it in, but I kept getting scared. Wow. Feels like you're on a ride. Let me get mine. See you later. Thoughts? This is some next level. Yeah, they're so good. They are so good. <laughs> like Obviously, we've literally just opened them, so first impressions are... Wow. Seriously, wow. Like. Like, wow, they're so fun. They are so fun. The quality of them is really good. The tires seem like really legit. The brakes are really responsive so far on their first test. But we need to do further testing, don't we? Yeah, we need to like take them out for a full day. So we need to take these guys out for a proper test run and no better place than um, the capital of France. Paddy. Let's go. Let's go get baguettes in Paris. Yes, and coffee and ride around in our little bikes and be cool. I'm so excited. I actually love it so much. I'm going to have to give it a name. Anywho, we've got to put them on charge because we want to take them out for a full day in Paris, see how, how long they Boring. last, see how far they go. 
He's so friggin' rude. I'm flipping excited. So now we have to figure out how the frig we're gonna fit these in the back of our van. That is why we have a resident climbing mat in the front all the time. Mm -hmm. So now that these are open. It's time to start a game of Tetris? Yeah. Let's go. The Fido D3 Pro is an entry level e bike at only $649, and for you guys, we've got an exclusive coupon to get you $50 off. If you're interested in them, I will put the link down in the description. But so far, we love them. Well, that took longer than it should have. The sun has went down. <laughs> I'm super excited to like rip up the streets of Paris on them. <laughs> it's gonna be friggin' sick. Paris is not gonna know what hit it. <laughs> Probably my face <laughs> on, the, on the street. We have to sacrifice one climbing mat. It looks like one doesn't fit, but luckily we got the biggest one in and that you can still climb with one boulder mat. So I'm okay with that. And let us know down in the comments before you watch on in this video, does Keely fall off the e-bike in Paris? Yeah, what's your prediction? Let us know. My prediction is Yes. <laughs> oh, so is mine. But let's hope that it's not going to be a fatal injury. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so check this out. It's a solar shower. It's not very technical. It's just a bag with a shower head on it. Tell them how long we've had this shower. We've, when did we buy this? Like over a year ago. Over two years ago, Philly. Over two years ago. It's literally um, never been used. But it had been getting a little bit too long since we had a shower. Yeah. So we thought we'd bust it out, fill it up a little bit and see how it works. This is probably about two litres of water. And the soap we're using is completely like eco-friendly soap as well. So it can be washed into the earth fine. Yeah. The only problem is your the oil's coming off your body. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not so good for the earth. <laughs> and then you just... I'm excited. I'm just prepping my hair. I had to get all my tangles out. Uh, yeah, that took about half an hour. Pretty excited to get my hair washed. I mean, get some ribbon in the comments about the fact that we always wear our hair in buns. <laughs> so that's usually because we're mingers. So I'm but gonna we, wash it. Like, let's I'll wear be, it down. Disclaimer here: we do clean ourselves. Yeah, just I mean, you we know, don't wash our hair. We do pits and bits on a daily basis. Yeah. So. We clean our bodies, but we don't clean our hair very often. And we don't use products, so we just use water. So, I'm excited. He got naked earlier and said it was very freeing. I'm ready. I'm scared. And why am I having a cold one? This isn't a good first start. <laughs> it is cold. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I did not read a cold one. We didn't leave it in the sun. We decided just to have it. Oh, Lord. I don't like it, it's cold. I'm getting water all over the, all over the van. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> I thought you said I was gonna enjoy this. <laughs> that was very fresh. Uh, I think in future I'll let mine sit in the sun and heat up. I feel pretty clean, not gonna lie. I know, it feels great. It actually feels pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna dry up. I'm looking forward to using a solar shower more often. We should definitely use this more. Why we've not used this in two years is beyond me. Well, because we lived in London, it'd be a bit weird to get naked in the streets of London. <laughs> so we are here for one more day before we head to Paris, which means thankfully because the sun is shining, we can charge up these bikes. We've had the EcoFlow running all day. She's at 100%, so we're gonna get the bikes at 100%, and then that way we can give it a full test out in Paris, see how long they run for. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. Morning. <laughs> so we've made it into Paris. We're gonna take out our e-bikes, go for a little cycle. Even though the e-bikes fit in the boot, as you can see, we have not managed to dispose of the packaging yet. So that's a bit of a tip, not gonna lie. And this park up is just the side of the road. We lived on the streets of London for a year, so we have no problem parking and sleeping on the streets of Paris. <laughs> so we actually parked up right next to a bouldering gym, obviously. I went in there last night when we got here. We are, it seems like, in some sort of financial district. Like, we're surrounded by banks and stuff, and there's cameras everywhere. I think it's going to be safe. Fingers crossed. Obviously doing a great job of getting up, aren't we? Hey. 
the way you're dressed play up makes you look like you've got a massive ass. It's just fun. It's so fun, isn't it? First impressions. Uh, first impressions, like why did we not have one of these before? And I used to think, similar to electric scooters, that people were just being lazy, but now that I'm on one, I'm like, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> we're going up a hill, and you wouldn't even know it. Enjoying those hills? Yeah, baby. The traffic here is carnage. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. Yeah, one of you guys on YouTube told us in the comments to avoid Arc de Triomphe in the van because it's like 12 lanes of carnage. So we decided to come and do it on e-bikes instead. <laughs> Careful. Stop. Go, go, go. No, 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 no. When the pedal kicks in, when you've only got one hand on the handlebars, you nearly pull a wheelie. It's got pretty hot. I've had to put my hair up on the bun. I'm tempted to jump in this fountain. Can't complain. It's a beautiful day. Have you ever heard of Poseidon's Kiss? No, what's that? No? You've never heard of it? What is it? It's when you do a poo and the toilet water just gently caresses your bum hole. That's disgusting. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure this is a very beautiful angle. I was inspired by Nick from Nick Rooms. I thought it was funny watching you talk while you cycle around Nick, so I'm giving it a go. Uh, I have to say, E-bikes are friggin' sick. I'm cycling so I can pretend I'm doing some exercise, but then when Philly gets a bit ahead of me, like he is right now, would he see this? Oh, yeah. E-bike dust! <laughs> it's why they're awesome. Hey. Eh? It's gonna be this. I'm just vlogging here. Hey, I'm just I'm just vlogging here. Right. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the view. Beautiful. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> One thing I will say is Paris is super beautiful for all the life it has. Like all plants around Notre Dame is all these beautiful flowers. They've got trees lying in every street. It just feels like proper alive. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really beautiful. Hey, gorgeous. So we've only got an hour left on parking, so unfortunately we have to go, but we've got time for lunch. We need food, guys. Haven't eaten since this morning. And we only had two bits of bread. I know, a little bit of a gag. This girl needs some more nutrition. Mm. You match the shop. So this one's the, what I expected, which is like a rice bowl with loads of different toppings. And then this one's some sort of like aubergine stew or something. This looks great. It looks friggin' fabulous. Well done, Dean. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's been such a beautiful day out in Paris. I've actually enjoyed it on the e-bikes way, way more than I thought I would. So this has been great. Thanks for joining us, guys. Feeling thoroughly nourished right now, so it's time to get back to the van before our parking runs up. Onwards, my humble steed. How fun was that? Such an awesome day. I definitely got a bit lazy on the journey home and let it assist me quite a lot, but... Our time has run up on the meter, so let's go relax somewhere. Let's hit the road. <laughs>